In this video, we will try to solve another problem that was asked by a brother Imran Khalid on Telegram channel of Econ Maths regarding uh, how to find the residual demand. The question is like this. Consider a market uh, with one large firm and many small firms. The supply function of all the smaller firms together is given by this function that is S is equal to 200 plus P where P is the price. The market demand is being given us this is the total market demand that is dp is equal to 400 minus p and cost function for large firm is given by this uh, very function that is c y subscript l denotes the uh, output of large firm is equal to 220 yl the residual demand curve for the large firm where dl denotes the large firm's uh, demand and yl denotes the large firm's output is we have to actually find the residual demand for the large firm okay so um, to make it more uh, clear for you people so let us write in place of y i will write as q for the sake of simplicity i get confused okay so that's uh, why i am using q okay so i will write here also q okay ql let me write here also ql okay so uh, it's the same if you write a uh, y l r q l it is same it denotes the output now what we are being given we have to find the residual demand how do we find residual demand and what is meant by residual demand let me write it here residual residual demand in this case uh, uh, is given by residual demand is equal to actually it is equal to the market demand market demand minus supply of all supply of all other firms okay other firms okay now what is the demand function let me uh, show it graphically also what is the total market demand let me write it here okay so let's draw a graph here simple this is our market demand okay so uh, we can write it like this so let us say this is our market demand its intercept is 400 okay now residual demand is equal to total market demand our total market demand is equal to this 400 minus p so i can write like this q uh, l that means residual demand will be equal to will be equal to total demand that is 400 minus p okay this is the uh, total market demand minus the supply of all firms all other firms are supplying according to this function okay so this uh, we subtract this very thing here so 200 plus p okay let me write it here this denotes this denotes the market demand market total market demand this is the supply uh, supply by all firms okay all firms okay and this denotes the residual demand residual demand for the large firm okay so if we solve this will come out to be q subscript l will come out to be this is 400 minus p minus 200 minus p okay this comes out to be 400 minus 200 comes out to be 200 uh, minus 2p that means q l is equal to 200 minus 2p okay this is the residual demand for large firm and what exactly does mean it by residual demand let's uh, try to figure out this is the total demand function okay uh, what is our supply function uh, supply function is being given by this is the supply function of all the firms so i can write this supply function here to make sense here so q is equal to 200 plus p or if we transpose this p here okay or I, if i write p is equal to 200 minus q okay this is the supply function of smaller firms okay so we can denote the supply firm supply function like this okay 
so this is the supply function of all firms okay let me write it like this now by residual demand what we mean uh, residual demand is the market demand minus supply of all firms okay let's uh, find out what is being demanded at this point so the intersection of demand and supply curve gives us uh, the market clearing uh, quantity and price okay so we can see here if we solve uh, this function and this function so demand is equal to supply that means 200 plus p is equal to 400 minus p 400 minus p that comes out to be if we transpose this p this becomes 2p is equal to 400 minus 200 comes out to be 200 or p is equal to 100 okay so we can say when price is equal to 100 okay and what is uh, the corresponding quantity being supplied so just plug uh, this p is equal to 10 in supply function that means quantity supplied will be equal to 200 plus 100 that comes out to be 300 okay so at at a price of 100 total quantity uh, demanded is equal to total quantity supplied and it comes out to be 300 okay so we can uh, say that when price is equal to 100 okay when price is equal to 100 demand is equal to supply okay but what is the residual demand in this case let me draw another graph here okay uh, to show how we derive this very curve so when price is equal to 100 let me draw it here okay when price is equal to 100 okay all uh, the output is being supplied by these very smaller firms okay and at this point a residual demand will be equal to zero so at this point residual demand uh, for large firm will be equal to zero okay at a price of 100 let me write it here because at this point a uh, supply is uh, exactly equal to demand okay let's take another another point okay let us say a price is equal to 90 okay when price is equal to 90 let me write it like this when price is 90 what is being uh, supplied by the smaller firm so we will see this point so when p is equal to when p is equal to 90 what is supply just plug p in this we will get the quantity supplied so quantity supplied at this point okay at this point will be equal to 200 let me write it like this q will be equal to 200 plus P. what is p p is 90 okay quantity supplied at this point will be equal to 290 and what is let me write it in small caps okay what is quantity being demanded at this point so when p is equal to 90 what is being quantity demanded plug in this market demand so quantity demanded quantity demanded let me write it qd is equal to 400 minus p that is 90 so when uh, 400 minus 90 comes out to be 310 okay so 310 okay we can clearly see when the price is below the equilibrium level okay when the price is below the 100 so what is the residual demand residual demand is 310 minus 90 okay so this comes out to be namath hat this comes out to be 20 okay so i can see here uh, clearly and you also can see here when price was equal to 100 residual demand was zero okay but when price comes out to be 90 okay when price comes out to be 90 residual demand is equal to 20 so let me write it like this let us say this is 20 here we have this point okay so we can join this out okay so this is 20 okay so the point to make here is that whenever we have let us say at this point when price is greater than equilibrium price okay 
so quantity demanded will be greater than quantity supplied at this point so at this point or at this point residual demand will be zero but residual demand uh, can be found out uh, below the market clearing price that is 100 okay so in simple terms if you want to uh, draw so this will denote the residual demand curve for large firm okay so we don't have to do anything with the cost function of uh, this firm because the question does not tell us anything else here so uh, to cut it short a residual demand is actually found actually we can also use uh, this method uh, to find the residual uh, demand but it will take a lot of time okay so residual demand is simply residual demand is equal to market demand minus supply of uh, supply of smaller firms okay supply of smaller firms okay and in our case uh, residual demand will be equal to if we write it in this that means residual demand is equal to this 200 minus ql okay so I, if i write it like this sorry uh, 200 minus 2p what we actually found here that is equal to 2p okay so this is our residual demand it is found by subtracting uh, the supply of all firms from the total market demand to get the residual demand okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you